Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Apex Legion this season 21. I'm going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So before launching the game, I want to show you the launch option that I'm currently using. So right click on the game, go to properties. Uh, the uh, launch option to start the game and, and play it with DirectX 12 just changed with the new season. So I'm going to put this one in the video description. Honestly, it really depends on your computer. Is it like a very old computer? Probably DirectX 11 will be better. But if you have something recent for the past like three years, DirectX 12, normally you will have more FPS and also a lot less stuttering. So definitely test it out. If you have like 4000 series from Nvidia, 3000, 2000, you should be fine with DirectX 12. But definitely you can test it out. I also like to add the FPS Max Unlimited to just unlock my FPS. So this is the launch option that I'm currently using. I'm going to put it on my video description. Now let's start the game. So in the display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. You don't want to add any stuttering and also you want less input lag. So super important to play that. Aspect ratio is question of preference. I really like to play native. I know some people like to stretch it out. Resolution. I'm playing native also. Don't downscale your resolution over there. Your game will look very blurry. For the FOV, it's question of preference. I like to play at 104, but you really need to understand if you increase your FUV, you're going to lose some FPS. So if you're very limited with your computer, maybe start at 80. Look at your FPS. After that, go to 90 and just like increase it depending on how you want to play. FOV ability scaling, I'm going to disable. Sprint view shake, I go in minimal. You don't want any noise when you're sprinting. So that's why I'm going with minimal. After for the uh, pa video parameter setting, so in the advanced, VSync always disabled. You don't want to add any input lag. You can use other technology like FreeSync or G-Sync if you don't like your tiering line when you're playing the game. But my recommendation is go with disable if you don't add that. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex, I recommend to go at enable if you have an NVIDIA card. Your adaptive resolution scale, you don't want. You just want to put it at zero. After that, we're going to go to anti-aliasing, go with none. Honestly, in this game, you just have two options. This one is very blurry, DTS AA. So I recommend to go with none and you will gain a nice 4% boost in your FPS. Dynamic streaming budget, it adds a little bit of input lag. I'm not a big fan of it, except if you're very you're struggling with your VRAM. You have a very old computer with 1 gig of VRAM or maybe 2 gig of VRAM. It can help to go with enabled, but for the majority of the people, disable this. After that, texture streaming budget and texture filtering, just follow both. So, for example, if you have 8 gig and more of VRAM on your uh, GPU, go with 16x, anisotropic 8 gig, very high 8, 8x, 4 gig, go with 4x, 2x for 3 gig, trillion air if you go 2 to 3, and very low and none, go with bell in air. So, it's a question of like, you just follow your amount of VRAM. Really important to. Uh, follow that you're not going to gain any fps over there but it's more about uh stuttering so if you're uh, missing some vram when you're playing a game you're gonna stutter 
Ambient Occlusion Quality are going to go with Disable. This one is pretty huge. You're going to gain a nice 8% boost in your FPS. Sun Shadow, Sun Shadow Detail, both at low. Another 5% boost. Spot Shadow Detail, Disable, a nice 6% boost over there. Volumetric Lighting, go with Disable. You're going to gain a nice 3% boost. And all those uh, parameters that I'm saying at low, low, Disable. Honestly, you're not just getting more FPS. You're also getting some visibility. So it's a lot better when you want to try hard at the game. <laughs> Dynamic Spot Shadow, I recommend Disabled. You can expect a nice 3% boost in your FPS. Model Detail, I recommend Medium. Not a huge difference between Low and Medium. Honestly, it's like 1%. But when you go at high, you're going to lose 2. So my recommendation is go with Medium. Map Detail, a brand new to a setting. Honestly, not a huge difference in, with the setting. It's like 1% to 2%. Except if your computer is very old and you're struggling with decoration and environment. Uh, go, this, go with Low, but definitely test this out. Effect detail, I recommend to go with low. It will help when you see explosion, action, and stuff like that. And if you're getting some drop in your FPS, this one will be huge. Impact Mart, I like to stay at low. At disable, you will not see where you're shooting. So this one, it's really important to keep it at low. And the last one is Ragdoll. I recommend to go with low. If you have like a very bad CPU, it will help a lot. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Apex Legion guide for Season 21 in 2024. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.